back at Chase Field, starting pitcher for the Marlins, 28-year-old lefty Caleb Smith. This one is popped up. Foul territory. Caleb's over there. He's going to take control and is able to hang on. And Alfaro is grabbing his left wrist. I wonder if it was the backswing that got him. And it looks like he's going to stay out there. The two guys in scoring position now just takes that base knock. Here it is. And he got him swinging on a slider down and in. So a nice job to get Flores. Diebacks get a hit, a hit banner. They leave a pair after one, no score. Two outs now, and it'll be up to Miguel Rojas with Dean at second. The 0 1 to Rojas is lined out to left center field. The Castro on the run. It's going to get over his head. It's going to go all the way to the wall. Austin Dean's in to score, and Miguel Rojas is standing at second base with a two out RBI double. The Marlins are on the board first tonight. It's 1 0 here in the third. Two outs now, and here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. There's a line drive into the left field corner. Extra bases. Over to cut it off the left fielder, Dean, heading for third, coming around to score as Marte. The throw to the plate is not in time. Now they got Walker caught in the rundown. He's tagged out as he slipped and fell. But Walker, an RBI double, he'll tie the ball game. He is then tagged out between second and third. After three, Diamondbacks won, and the Marlins won. And here's Martin Prado with a man on. Bounced up the middle. Vargas smothers it. One, two. Eldemaro Vargas, what a play. He wasn't even in the original starting lineup, filling in for the injured Nick Ahmed. It's a glove flip onto Wilmer Flores, who completed that double play. If you're going to fill in for Nick Ahmed, you better make plays like this. Outstanding. Wilmer with the bare hand, the fire on to Walker to complete the double play. And it helped a little bit that Prado, who was a notoriously slow runner and a guy that hits into a lot of double plays, was slow getting up the line. And they love it in that D-back dugout. So 1-1 in the fifth. Marlins have runners on the corners with two down. Here's a ground ball. Base hit through the left side. Well, we had faith in Brian Holiday. Home from third base, John Birdie. Marlins lead 2-1. Holiday with a hit and a run batted in. So Crowe and bats for Young against Caleb Smith, who now has a 2-1 lead. Swings and hits a drive to deep left field. And you can't touch them all. Kevin Crone, a long home run into the left field bleachers to tie this game at two in the first pitch of the fifth inning from Caleb Smith. Well, that's just a little glimpse of what Kevin Crone is capable of doing. And the batter is Escobar with a runner in scoring position. Fly ball shallow right. On comes Brinson. Out goes Diaz. And Brinson slides. Can't get it. Rolls off his glove. And Rojas is going to come around third. And the throw to the plate will be not in time. The run scores, and the Diamondbacks get the lead 3-2. to two. Brinson looked like he was not coming in real hard, letting Diaz go out and make that catch. Yeah, I'm almost shocked I saw this play. I mean, Brinson didn't get there in time. So the uh, Diamondbacks get another run. They have a runner at second base. Wilmer up the middle. Hats get through. Escobar's home, and it's 4-2. All of a sudden, the Marlins have loaded the bases here against Andres with two men out. That is a fair ball down the left field line. Dean will score. Walker will score. Birdie coming around third. There will be no throw, and Rojas clears the bases with a three RBI double. And the Marlins jump into the lead here in the Chase Field. What a big hit. First and third, the uh, Marlins in business against Sherpy. First two batters of the inning. Into center. LoCastro moving back, and it's going to get over his head. One run will score. Martin held it third, a double for Isan Diaz, and the Marlins take a 6-4 to four lead. Second and third, nobody out. It's popped up, shallow center. Long run for Flores, still going. Coming in, LoCastro can't get it. It falls in for a hit between the infield in and the outfield. And the Marlins extend the lead at 7-4. to four. Now Austin Dean. There's a ball rifled out to right field. Jones moving over, won't get it. It's going to go to the wall. Diaz again got a late break. He'll come around and score. They're going to hold Brinson at third on a Dean double. Make it 8-4 Miami. And it's up to Miggy, who's got a chance to establish nuclear high in RBIs if he can get a hit here. A 3-2 pitch coming. Of course, base hit left field. That's going to score two more. 
Rojas comes through again. Six RBIs for Miggy Rowe. It's 10 to 4. Brian Holiday is going to lead it off. Brian Holiday, fly ball, left field, hit well. Does it have the legs? Yes, it does. Brian Holiday, a home run. He's a triple shy of the cycle. Here comes the uh, 3 2, and Almonte in the air. Center field, Sierra's gearing up for a catch and a throw. There's a catch, and down the line, the runner has to go back to throw, and he's out. This game's over. Double play as Rojas got picked off at third, and the Marlins win the ball game. I haven't seen a game end like that in quite some time.